नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स दिस इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद आवर डिस्कशन ऑन फ्रिक्शन क्लचेस वी हैव सीन दैट फोर्स इज रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रिएट कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन फ्लाई व्हील प्रेशर प्लेट एंड क्लच प्लेट्स दिस फोर्स इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द स्प्रिंग और समटाइम्स ए नंबर ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स एंड वेन द कॉन्टेक्ट इज देयर the motion is transferred from engine shaft to clutch shaft and this position of clutch is known as engaged position when external force is applied against the force of spring the contact is lost between flywheel pressure plate and clutch plates and motion is not transferred to clutch shaft this is known as disengaged position of the clutch now to exert force against the force of spring to disengage the clutch driver is required to press clutch pedal he is required to press the clutch pedal then he releases it gradually and gradually motion is transferred to clutch shaft now this is to be repeated a number of times whenever we are engaging gear or whenever we are shifting the gear now pressing clutch pedal again and again can be quite cumbersome this is a hectic exercise for driver to repeatedly press the clutch pedal there are ways and means being thought so that this process is not required to be performed by driver so there are some different variants of clutches that are available where we are using alternate force to engage or disengage the clutch one of them is electromagnetic force now we are all familiar that if a soft iron piece is surrounded by coil and current is passed through this coil the soft iron piece is magnetized this starts acting as a magnet a magnetic field is created and magnetic force comes into existence this force can cause attraction between the flywheel the pressure plate and clutch plate this is what we use in case of clutches which are known as electromagnetic clutches well now let us take a look at the diagram of electromagnetic clutch in this diagram you will find as usual the engine shaft the flywheel the clutch shaft pressure plate and clutch plates these are the common components of a clutch the difference that you may notice here is a winding that is located inside the flywheel the upper portion of the diagram has been sectioned in order to show you the details when electric current is passed through winding the soft iron piece is converted into magnet a magnetic field is created which causes magnetic force this magnetic force attracts the pressure plate and the force is sufficient to attract pressure plate towards the fly wheel clutch plates are in between pressure plates and fly wheel so we have contact between fly wheel pressure plate and clutch plate this way the motion is transferred to clutch shaft and the clutch is set to be in engaged position the electric current is generally generated by a battery in the vehicle now when this current is stopped the soft iron piece does not remain magnet magnetic field and magnetic force are removed there is no more force of attraction and therefore the pressure plate fly wheel and clutch plates are separated because of this now the motion is not transferred to the clutch shaft and we say that clutch is in disengaged position so this was about the one of the requirements of the clutch that is we should have transfer of motion 
when we desire. Now, the other requirement of the clutch that motion should be transferred gradually is fulfilled by supplying the current to the coil gradually. The intensity of current is increased gradually. This causes magnetization of the soft iron piece gradually. The magnetic field and therefore the magnitude of the magnetic force increases gradually. So the motion is gradually transferred to clutch shaft. On the other side, the supply of current is stopped gradually. This causes the process to occur in reverse direction that is demagnetization of iron piece, removal of magnetic force gradually and therefore contact between flywheel, pressure plate and clutch plates is lost gradually. This variant of clutch is termed as electromagnetic clutch because we are using electromagnetic force to operate the clutch. Thanks for watching the episode.